Hi, I'm Matt Schuster and welcome to the 502 Report. The World Equestrian Games are coming to Kentucky and Louisville is hosting a number of special events, festivals and concerts in September and October for attendees and all of you to enjoy. Here's more on what's planned. The World Equestrian Games are rapidly approaching. The World Equestrian Games will be the largest sporting event in the United States this year and it's in Kentucky. In addition to the World Equestrian Games, here's an example of uh, what we're going to be using around town to promote the Experience Louisville Festival. Spectators will be able to enjoy the Experience Louisville Festival. Imagine the impact that we're going to have on our world visitors when they come to the St. James Court Art Show. Imagine what the International Festival of Film will be able to do with the international visitors that can see some of their own films and films from around the world. And think about what an impact we can make when people come right here to the Kentucky Derby Museum. This 17-day event will allow visitors to enjoy all of the cultural and historical gems that Louisville has to offer. We've really grown accustomed to being uh, roused from our sleep at night and having our conversations interrupted by the trains that go by on LaGrange Road. There's some well-deserved peace and quiet coming to LaGrange Road. Louisville Metro has finally completed the construction projects needed to create a quiet zone, which will prevent trains from blowing their horns when passing through the area. This is going to affect uh, probably uh, about 1,000 to 2,000 people who are within sound range of the horns. Crossing gates and signals were added along LaGrange Road to improve safety for the community, as well as prevent noisy trains from barreling through residential areas. The half a million dollar project will allow hundreds of residents to rest easy in Louisville Metro. Louisville was named as one of the top 10 major cities for economic growth potential by Business Facilities Magazine. Business facilities consider job creation initiatives as well as potential to survive in the new economy when selecting the top 10 locations for business growth. Louisville was also ranked 7th for having the lowest cost of living among all major cities and ranked as the 8th best city in alternative energy industry leaders. Young adults in Greater Louisville have a new facility to further their education. We know that education, job training are the keys to the future of our economic viability, both as a community and as a nation. One, two, Three. Mayor Abramson hosted the ribbon cutting ceremony for the U Center on West Broadway. Within the last five years, the U Center has helped over 1,200 young adults successfully advance their academic skills. The young people who walk through these doors leave with more than just a GED, though. They leave with hope, with a game plan, with the knowledge and skills and expertise needed to succeed in the marketplace. Uh, U gives those who may otherwise slip through the cracks a firm foundation upon which to build a career. Youth Opportunities Unlimited is an extension of Jefferson County Public Schools that helps young adults complete their GEDs, begin job searches, and find financial aid for occupational training. The new youth center is located at 510 West Broadway in Louisville. The Louisville Free Public Library will soon be offering job seekers another place to turn for help and resources. Quicker speed, more workstations, and greater computer access are coming to the 18 area libraries, thanks to some federal and local grant funding. It's going to have impact in every one of our neighborhoods. It'll have an impact in connecting all of our branches at a much higher speed. People using the computers in our libraries will find that all of a sudden they'll be faster than anything you can do at home with a broadband connection. The $1.2 million from the Recovery Act, Library Foundation, and Metro Government will allow the library to purchase 137 new computers, upgrade its internet bandwidth, and add job training classes. Our libraries will have more resources for job hunters, for students, we'll have a new teen center in the Bonaire Library. We will have more of what the public has been clamoring for in our libraries. The project funded for the next three years is scheduled to begin immediately with all new computers being installed in the next year and training programs and bandwidth expansion starting this fall. Have you checked out LouisvilleKY.gov yet? It's undergone some changes to help make it easier to use. And recently, it was even recognized with a second place award in the 2010 Best of the Web Awards in the City Portal category. This is the city's highest finish to date. 
Louisville's Director of Health and Wellness and host of Dr. Metro Davis, TV's Health Dr. Matters, Dr. Dr. Ottawa Dr. Troutman, Dr. is taking a new job with the University of Florida's Dr. College of Public Health in Tampa. Current Medical Director Matt Zahn will step in as the Interim Director of the Department when Troutman leaves in early November. A state-of-the-art fire and rescue boat will help the Louisville Fire Department respond more effectively to water emergencies. This new boat is um, much more efficient than the old one, takes less time to get it going, it's ready to move, allows crews to make quicker response time to emergencies throughout the river. The boat's equipped to handle dive rescue, firefighting, and water rescue operations. The firefighters that operate this boat are, ver are very versatile as well. Not only are, there, are they firefighters, they're also divers, they're also water rescue technicians, high angle rope rescue technicians, and serve on our Metropolitan Search and Rescue Team. The new boat cost $400,000 and was mostly paid for with federal Homeland Security money and a 25% match from the fire department's fleet depreciation fund. Louisville's eighth annual World Fest on the Belvedere allowed visitors to experience many different cultures through food, music, and dance. But one group was more interested in celebrating their connection to the United States instead. And would you raise your right hand? On Friday, September 3rd, 370 immigrants from 70 different countries became U.S. citizens at a naturalization ceremony held in the Kentucky Center. After the ceremony, the new citizens also received a message of congratulations from President Obama. Together, we are a nation united not by any one culture or ethnicity or ideology, but by the principles of opportunity, equality, and liberty. And with that, construction began on a new $1 million clubhouse at Charlie Vetner Golf Course. Investing in our parks, as I said, is truly investing in the quality of life of our hometown by enhancing the opportunities for recreation, for health, uh, and for family activities. The existing clubhouse located on Mary Dell Lane in eastern Louisville is often crowded and often struggles to meet the needs of golfers. This was built in the 1960s, and I think we all agree it's seen, uh, it's seen better days. And we need something that's uh, going to have the new facilities, the new amenities, and the sizes that we're going to need so that we can have opportunities to host more tournaments out in this area. The new facility will include a 4,400 square foot pavilion, additional air conditioned clubhouse space, an improved pro shop and snack bar, and a patio. The entire facility, when complete, will be approximately 10,000 square feet, three times as large as the old clubhouse. With the work we're going to start today, finally right here at Ventnor, we'll have a clubhouse that rivals the quality of the golf course itself. Construction is expected to be completed in spring of 2011. Spray parks are more affordable, able to stay open longer than metro pools, and a great way to have fun in the warmer weather. Recently, residents celebrated the fourth opening of a Louisville Spray Park this year. Mayor Abramson announced the opening of another new spray ground in Petersburg Park. We now have 10 existing spray grounds that have some of the most, that have located in some of the most exciting spots throughout this community and folks are enjoying it. This is the fourth new spray ground opened in Louisville Metro this year. So it's going to be a lot of activity going on here. And I know the community is excited about this park. I'm really, really proud of what the city is doing for our community. The new spray ground features free admission and is located in Petersburg Park near the intersection of Newburgh Road and Indian Trail. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the 502 Report. Make it a great day. TV, a public service of Louisville Metro Government.